and welcome back to another video. So while recording one of French Fry Girl's latest Twitch streams, she happened to mention the BBJ adoption situation a few times. I found this interesting considering what some of us have recently witnessed go down on Twitter with an account named Bubba Chomps. This Bubba Chomps account was reaching out continuously about adopting BBJ. Some of you might find some of the things French Fry Girl is speaking about in these clips oddly familiar. I tried to go back and look and find some of the screenshots of the whole ordeal, but by the looks of it, the socials and YouTube channels of this account have been deleted. I don't know this for sure, so allegedly conspiracy whatever, but to me, it looks like there might actually be more to the story than what meets the eye. Adopt BBJ, I tried. I've tried and I've tried and I've tried. I said it, right? I I I knew somebody, I know somebody know somebody who like was a beezer, I'll say. I don't want to say too much, right? But like I speak to them in DM sometimes, and I know that they're still somewhat in Chantal's ear. And I offered to buy BBJ for an astronomical price just to get her out of there and even sign an NDA. I wasn't gonna tell a soul that I even had BBJ. I tried. She wouldn't do it. So I don't know what more to do. You know, uh, I, I would love to. FFG, make the offer again. Don't let her put BBJ down. Like, I'll make the offer again. But I think, you know, I forget. You guys have said before what a lot of people think is something oppositional, something she has. And it's like, in my opinion, it's sort of almost spiteful. It's out of spite. She would rather the cat just like expire or, or God only knows be in a shelter, be put down. I don't know that give the cat to me or, or sell the cat to me and have me say, you guys were never going to even know that I was going to have that cat. I, I was full ass willing to sign an NDA. No one was going to know. And that cat would have just had a beautiful end of life with me. You know, Hey, I agree. She'd rather be BJ be put down, let's say, than to go to anyone else. I totally, totally agree. Yeah, I think so too. Hmm, Missy Moon works something out. I mean, it's really, it's just so sad. I don't know. There's, yeah, I agree. She does view it as property. It's it's sad. It's a life. It's not an object. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. She should have definitely just taken me up on my first offer. No one would ever know that I had the cat. It would have, it would have been done, you know? But she's disgusting. So listen, <laughs> I'm not saying nobody warp my words here. I'm not saying I'm going to jux a cat. Okay. But I think I did tell you guys the story of when my bestie broke up with her husband and he somehow got the dog in the equation, even though he was never home, never cared about the dog. Like that was her dog. And we did do a B and E and we got that fucking dog. <laughs> I never regretted it a day in my life. We did it. You know, now I, like I said, I'm going to repeat it. I did not say that I'm going to break in anywhere to steal BBJ. She should just have taken me up on my offer to buy the cat, you know? Oh, oh, sorry guys. I forgot to re-mention it's true. Okay. The, the whole angle of Chantal not taking up on the offer. Okay. Then we did try to go through Pete's. I tried to go through Pete's to get the cat. That wouldn't work. Then I tried to go through Pete's. If you guys remember to, I was going to pay for a mobile vet to come to their house and have like a vet visit and whatever they would need done for the two of them. And that was also a no. So, I mean, Pete's is no help at all. I agree. It takes a special kind of psycho to say no to somebody just offering to send a vet to your house and pay for the visit for your two pets. Shit. I, like I would have been like, yeah, sure. <laughs> you know what, I mean? what kind of a psychopath wouldn't do that? It shows not only you're unwilling to take care of them, it's it's almost like you want them to suffer. You're going out of your way to make sure that they suffer. Yeah.